Today I've received my first artificially inseminated queen. Hello, I'm Griff Reese. welcome to Gwyn and Griffith. Here we talk everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you're notified of when new videos are uploaded. Well, it's an exciting day today. I have received my first ever artificially inseminated queen. Now, she's a Buckfast queen and bred by Duncan Simmons from Simmons Apiaries. I'll put Duncan's details in the description, so if anybody wants to uh, support Duncan, buy one of his queens, then the details are in the description of this video. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's only a handful of people in the UK that can do artificially uh, inseminated queens. It's uh, a master skill to get, so uh, in fairness, the, the work that's gone into producing this queen is huge, and I'm going to do everything I can to make sure this queen is accepted successfully. Um, like I mentioned, there's only a handful of guys that can do this in the UK, and Duncan, he's one of those guys, uh, Simmons Apery, so make sure you check him out if you want uh, a British-bred queen or even an artificially inseminated queen. And, uh, you know, these are the queens that you buy if you want to do your own, if you, if you want your own breed of queen. So if you want to do... Uh, selective breeding on your apiaries and you buy uh, a zero zero queen in what i mean by zero zero queen in is she's pure so say for example the mother is a breeder mother from from denmark then you use drones from that line as well so there's nothing left by chance you're selecting the best lines and then obviously you've got that in the queen every time something mates naturally outside you lose a little bit of uh, the genetics then and then you go to f1 f2 f3 etc and you lose that trait so this is what you'd call zero zero it's as pure as you can get artificially inseminated so you select in the semen from the drones and obviously you've got the queen um quite fascinating really uh, i don't think I've ever, i'll ever have the skill or the knowledge to be able to artificially inseminate queens um but, you know, people do uh, sell courses in the UK on how to do it. Um, if you're really keen about queen rearing, then, you know, the industry needs uh, needs this, really, and uh, improving the British lines within the UK. And I think doing this in-house in the UK, I think that is a very important thing to do. So let's have a look at the queen. So here she is. She's in this, a Nickot cage which we sell on the website. Really interesting to see what cages breeders use. So she is marked, she's got a sticker on her back. I think it says number 56. Tom will that tell you well, yeah. No, I'm just for it. I'm going to No, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. No, by far. This is the most expensive queen that's ever landed on this honey farm. And I'm very, very impressed with how this queen looks like. Plenty of workers for the, for the travel. So they've got ample workers to look after the queen. That's always a good thing to see. And uh, talking to Duncan, he's much more knowledgeable, knowledgeable than me introducing queens, etc. He's been doing it for many, many years. Now, he has told me to release all the worker bees from this cage and then leave the queen. So that's why I'm in the office right now. I'm going to do this in here. There's a window there. So if I do lose the queen, I should be able to find her in this small room. Now I was thinking about doing this in the pickup, but then you've got, I was thinking, you've got the air vents that she may go into, and then I'll never find her again. Now I know BJ Share, if they do like a, like a mesh, you can put your hands in and you can do this quite uh, quite efficiently quite easy i haven't got that so what i'm going to do today since i'm there this is the new feeds we stock and this has just come into stock today hopefully it'll be on the website by the time this video comes out and this is 
two kilos of Italian bee syrup. The best bee syrup money you can buy is from Italy, produced by La Ped all the way in Italy, and they specialize in bee feed. Now, it's been a fantastic year. You may not need to feed your bees that much this year, and a drum might be too much. You don't even need to feed there to feed this feed. Pierce a couple of holes in that tray, put it over the crown board, that's it. You've got two kilos of feed directly into the brood box, ready for winter. So that is going to be fantastic. Can't wait to use that myself. But anyway, now I'm going to use this Swinty hood, which we sell at Swinties as well. And I'm going to try, so what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and lock the back in and I'm going to try and release the bees out in here. So then if I see the queen, I can grab her and put her back in the cage. So this is a bit of a faff. Uh, I normally don't do this at all, but Duncan being the expert here, not me. Um, and this is an expensive queen. We're going to do everything uh, he recommends to get this uh, accepted in the hive. So I've, I've got a, a Buckfast nuke set up already, queenless. Um, and I think she's going to be perfect for that hive. Now, if you don't remember my last video, click the link there to watch that video. I, I was talking about bees can be a bit racist. Well, she, this is a Buckfast Queen and I'm introducing it into a Buckfast Nuke. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's try and release all these bees and not lose this Queen. Let's go. So here we are. This Swinty Hood. Looks like it's going to do a good job. So where is the Queen? Yeah, she's down the bottom there. Yeah. We've got it. The queen is left in there by herself. Good job. So here we are. This is the nuke that I've made up. Now you may notice I'm not wearing a suit. With these black bass bees, they are so tame. You don't really need a suit. So we'll just have a quick look. I have been through this nuke already. Sorry about the noise. We've got lamb, uh, bottle lambs there and it is feeding time. Brood, no queen cells, no eggs. Got all that honey. This is one of the nukes I'd take big honey frames out of. Brood has emerged on this frame. Honey around the edge. All that young brood. Perfect for introducing the queen into. They've filled that up already with honey. More sealed brood. Double checking for queen cells and eggs. Can't see anything. Same again. We've got a bit of a cup there. Nothing in there. Bit of open brood, nothing. No fresh eggs. So, these are the types of Buckfast bees we sell. Super tame, quiet ones. Now I've got the queen in the envelope here. So there she is. You make a bit of space in the middle. We're gonna drop her down just in there. That's looking pretty good. And we're gonna leave her in there for two days.
Here we are, back in the old nuke yard. That's filling up nicely. And we want to check how this queen is doing. Duncan Simmons, let's have a look. Queen in a cage, push in cage. I gotta be careful now because she could be out and walking about the place. Because my experience with pushing cages is the bees break her out of jail. Uh, that's the push in cage. She's still there. She's accepted. That's a good sign. Mission accomplished, I think. Number 56. Walking around lovely. Just need to give her some time. She has laid, I don't know if we can see that on the GoPro, but she has laid all the cells in the cage. Amazing. We put her back in. I tell you, that is a relief. I'm glad that queen is accepted. She's laying. So I'm gonna give her a couple of days now and we'll come back and I'm gonna check on her, check on her progress. But number one, for the sake of this video, our queen is accepted. Now I'll close this up. I don't even I don't even need, I don't even know why I put that on. We'll close this up. Alright, so for the sake of this video, we're probably going to finish it there because I, I want to get this video out and ideally I need to give that nuke now a good couple of weeks to really see the brood pattern and everything but uh, that queen has been accepted really well there, bee is very comfortable with her being in there, she's laid up everything in where the, the pushing cage was so that's excellent. I was talking to Duncan about these uh, these queens with him. Now he's trying a, a different way or a different technique of um, getting these queens mated um, and they're starting to lay uh, within a few days after inseminating which he tells me is uh, is really good and it's looking really really promising. Um, so if anybody does want an AI queen, artificially, artificial inseminated queen, then Duncan Simmons He's one of the main guys in the UK that's doing that, so give him a shout again. I'll put all his details in the description for anybody uh, who's interested in maybe getting a breeder queen, getting something artificially inseminated in the UK. 
So I'll put his details there. Either way, great to see that kind of development in the UK within beekeeping and bee farming and especially queen rearing. I mean, moving forward, uh, us as bee farmers and beekeepers within the UK, we need to be a bit more self-sufficient on queens um, instead of relying on imports. You know, I know I buy imported queens in myself, um, but I am trying to change over to more British lines within my business um supporting the guys doing that in the uk lots of good companies out there so i think if we can grow that industry and like what duncan's doing with ai i mean i think that's amazing and that's exactly what this industry needs well that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and don't forget if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content then please subscribe to my youtube channel i try my best to upload new videos every week thanks for watching